Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I am going to install the Gravity Forms WordPress plugin to create contact forms on your WordPress website. I'll show you how you can create contact forms using the Gravity Forms plugin, how you can use different types of templates to create different types of forms. Different templates available here, simple contact form, contest form, stripe checkout form, paper checkout form, event registration form. So these are the templates that you can use to create the contact form using Gravity Gravity Forms plugin. You can also integrate payment gateways into the form and you can accept payment using the Gravity Forms. There are many different add-ons which you can use to integrate your contact form with different types of CRMs, email marketing tools or automation tools. The Gravity Forms plugin is not a free plugin, it is a paid plugin and there are three different options. The basic license will cost you $59 per year for a single website and the pro license will cost you $159 per year for three websites and the elite license will cost you $259 per year for unlimited websites. And now for all these plans, there are different add-ons available. For example, for the basic plan, you will see these add-ons are available. You can integrate your contact form with HubSpot, MailChimp, Active Campaign, Campaign Monitor. If you go for Pro, you can integrate Type, Dropbox, Square add-ons, Zapier, PayPal add-ons. So different plans have different add-ons. So let's see how we can create the contact form using the Gravity Forms plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I have already installed and activated the Gravity Forms plugin. When you install this plugin, in the left hand side you will see the option here, Forms and under forms you will see settings. So go to settings and here you need to enter the license key of your plugin. So when you buy this plugin, you will create an account on their website and from your account, you can get the license key and enter the license key here and activate the plugin. Here, you can also set up your default currency. If you want to accept payment using the forms, you can set up the currency. Currently it is set to US dollar and we are using the default form theme. And these are the basic settings. Mm -hmm. If you want to enable a recapture, here you will see an option, recapture, go to recapture, then get the site key and secret key from Google website and enter those keys here and activate the recapture for the contact form. And this is for the REST API and uninstall. Now here you will see an option, add-ons. So these are the add-ons which are available with the Gravity Forms. If you want to accept payment, you can install PayPal or Stripe to check out or other payment gateway add-ons. And you will see other add-ons also, HubSpot add-on, then Advanced Post Creation add-on. Authorize.net is again a payment gateway. A Vapor, Breeze, Campaign Monitor. So all these add-ons are available and it depends on which plan you have you will get those add-ons. For example, if you have basic plan, you will be able to activate HubSpot, MailChimp, Active Campaign, Campaign Monitor, and other add-ons. If you have Pro license, then you will get these add-ons. Before buying this plugin, you can check out the add-ons also. Now let's go back to the dashboard, go to forms, and we are going to create a new form. Click on add new form and you will see some templates available. If you want to create a form using template, you can create a form using template. Otherwise, you can create it from the blank. So the templates available are simple contact form, advanced form, contest entry form, Stripe checkout, e-commerce form, donation form, employment application form, gift certificate form, survey forms, and user registration form, webinar registration form, request a code form. So all these templates are available. You can use any one of these templates. If you want to see how does this look, you can just go to that form and click on preview and it will show you the preview of that particular form. So this is how the webinar registration form look or you can create from the blank. So I'm going to use the simple contact form template. Click on it and just name it as simple contact form. Whatever name you want, you can assign that name to this contact form. I'm going to use simple contact form. If you want to add description, you can add description and click on use template. So now it is going to import that particular template. And this is how the template will look. At the top, we have name, then email, then comments. 
and submit button if i click on name you will see the settings of this particular field so under name we have first name and last name if i go to field settings you will see these field settings this is the name you will see it here the label of this field if you want to add description you can add the description below that we have the fields that are inside the name field if you want to add prefix you can simply enable it and you will see the option here then we have middle name you can enable the middle name or you can enable suffix just like this you need to enable these options as of now it has first name and last name below that if you want to make it required you can check this box if you do not check it this field will not be mandatory so i'm going to make it required then we have advanced for the advanced we have prefix first name and these are the placeholders so i can add placeholder here and you will see the placeholders here then we have field visibility visible and top aligned description placement if you are using description where it should be sub label placement then custom validation message we need to know your name what if we wanted to send you a birthday cake so this is what the validation message if someone does not fill up this field and try to submit the form it is going to show this validation message these are the advanced settings enable autocomplete visibility allow field to be populated dynamically and then we have conditional logic so if you want to add conditional logic you can add the conditional logic below that we have email field if i click on it you will see the field settings here again under general settings you will see name description under appearance we have placeholder now if i go to general you will see the option here enable email confirmation if you want them to confirm the email you can check this box otherwise you can uncheck it and it will show only one field that is email and if i check it it will give you an option to confirm the email go to appearance then we have placeholder size will be small medium or large and you can make it required under advanced again the same advanced settings there then we have comments it is a text area or paragraph you will see comments and this is the description you will see it here maximum characters make it required or not required all right so these are the basic field settings now if you want to add fields you will see an option here add fields click on it and these fields are available single line text paragraph drop down number check boxes radio buttons hidden html section and page below that we have advanced fields name date time phone address website email so let's see i want to add phone number so i'm going to drag it and drop it here and you will see the phone number field is added if i click on it you will see the field settings under general we have label and description and phone format will be international let's make it required let's go to appearance this is the placeholder if you want to add placeholder you can add the placeholder this is validation message large size if i make it medium you will see the medium size or small size let's make it large and for this one it is not showing large so i'm going to delete the email field and i'm going to add it again and this is now the large size let's make it required all right now we have comments let's try adding another field here go to add fields drop down so let's select drop down so drag it and drop it here let's click on it and go to field settings and let's add a label service required this is the service required title let's consider that you are selling some services so here you can add your services the first choice will be let's say website design second choice will be e-commerce website then we have automation click on plus sign crm so these four services are provided so i have added some options to select from so we have got four different services here if you want to edit choices you can click on it and you can edit the choices let's make it required let's go to add fields and let's see how does this page break works so i'm going to add a page break here after email so this will be the first page and this will be the second page 
right so when you add page break you will see start paging also this will show progress bar steps or none so here we are using the progress bar if i go to steps you will see page one page two or none so let's make it progress bar and progress bar style will be blue we will see how does this work so we have two different pages here now let's go to this submit button and from here you can customize the submit button you can change the text on the submit button and this is appearance this will be end of the form let's go back to add fields we have pricing fields also if you want to add product you can simply drag it and drop it here you can click on it then go to general enter the title then description single product drop down radio button so select one of these option add the pricing then quantity enable quantity or make it required for this you need to enable the payment gateway so that you will be able to accept the payments so i'm going to delete this option from here all right so these fields are available let's save the form and click on preview and this is how the form will look currently we are on the first page on the first page we have first name last name email address you will see it here first name last name email address then we have a page break then on the second page we have phone services and comment so let's try this all right so i have added some dummy data and you will see an option here next click on it and it will go to the next page that will be phone services and comments so this is how the page break works all right let's close it now at the top you will see the form settings click on form settings and these are the basic settings of the form this is the name of the contact form and this is the description below that we have form layout top aligned left aligned right aligned above inputs where you want to show the description sub label placement so these are the basic settings of this form form button form button settings are now located in the form editor itself save and continue enable save and continue option now if you want to limit the number of entries for this contact form you can enable this option and enter the number of entries that you want to be submitted using this form if you want to schedule this form you can enable it and select the schedule for this contact form so this form will be active only for this particular time period require user to be logged in so that means the customer or the visitor should be logged in to your website in order to fill up this form All right now this is for anti-spam honeypot or animated transitions let's enable it and save the settings we will see how does this work then the next setting is confirmation default confirmation click on edit so for the confirmation we have three different options so whenever someone fills up the form the confirmation will be shown on the form so these are the three different options text page or redirect under text we have thank you for contacting us we will get in touch with you shortly so this is the message that will be shown to the customer or to the visitor when they submit the form the next option is page and here you will see a drop down from the drop down you can select one of the pages and when someone fills up the form it will go to that particular page the next option is redirect here you can enter the url of the page where you want them to redirect after filling up the form so i'm going to select text and save the confirmation so it will show only the message after filling up the form next option is notification under notification we have two different options user notification and admin notification the user notification will be sent to the visitor so it will send an email to the visitor so this will be the content hi there the name of the visitor and thank you for getting in touch you can customize this message you can add your own message and this is the subject line we have received your entry and this is from email that is your email the business owner's email and this is the email field so you need to select the email field so one email will be sent to the user go back to notification and go to admin notification now this notification will be sent to the business owner or the website owner the admin of the website so here you will see the send to email is admin email address if you want to customize it you can add your own email address here instead of your website email address this is from email address and this will be the content it will show all the fields and this is the subject new submission form and the title of the form 
and the next option is personal data so this is about personal data prevent the storage of ip address exporting and erasing the data all right let's go back to forms and this is the form go to edit now these are the embed settings you will see the embed form if you want to use the embed code you can use the embed code of this form to show this form on any page of your website and this is the short code so you can use the short code now let's see how we can show this form on the website we have one demo page here i'm going to open the demo page and i want to show this form on the demo page on this demo page i'm going to use the default wordpress gutenberg editor so click on the plus sign and search for form and you will see the option here form that this is the option for the gravity form click on it and select the form we have only one form so select that form and you will see the form here click on update and click on view page so the form is added on the page just like this so i'm going to fill up this form click next and the next we have phone number then i'm going to select one of the services and let's add some comment click submit and you will see the message thank you for contacting us we will get in touch with you shortly now let's go back to pages and i'm going to use elementor to show this form so let's open this demo page using elementor if you're using any third party page builder you can use the short code to show this form all right so i'm going to look for short code so i'm going to add the short code here drag it and drop it let's go back to form we are on the embed and copy the short code go back enter the short code here and update it I view the page and this is how you can use the short code to show the form on any page of your website so it is very easy to create the contact form so all the required basic fields are available in the gravity form the pricing of this plugin is 59 dollars per year for a single website and you will get all these add-ons in the basic plan and the pro plan will cost you 159 dollars per year and that is for the three websites so you can go to this pricing page and check all the add-ons which are available in different plans and then go for a plan which is suitable for your requirement so this contact form plugin is not available for free however the add-ons will be very useful if you want to integrate your website with different tools you will see all these add-ons are available you can integrate your contact form with different types of crms or email marketing tools or automations so this is how you can use the gravity forms plugin on your wordpress website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.